Happy Monday, everybody. It's Swim Mom here with some Monday morning pointers. Many of you will question why we ask you to have your child's hair pulled up or pulled back, put in some ponytails, put off of their face, or have them get a swim cap. And that's because we spend a lot of time washing our face or putting our hair out of our ears even, or getting it out of our arms if the hair is really long. Uh, what, and I know the girls think it's cool when they lay on their back and their hair floats like a mermaid. But when we're trying to instruct them, it is very difficult and, and very difficult for them to focus on what we're trying to tell them when they can't think about it because their hair is in their eyes. So you can purchase swim caps up at the front desk at the Y and they're <clears throat> available online as well as Walmart and Myers and the sporting goods stores. <clears throat> and you just have to have them work with it a little bit, put on their head so that it keeps their hair out of the face, makes it a lot easier for us to help teach the concepts that we need to. So that's one. The next thing we're gonna talk about is goggles. Goggles become a big issue when they don't fit properly. When you purchase your goggles, you should have your child try them on because there are many different sizes. There is an, a kid size, a youth size, an adult size. There's also different types. Swimming or competitive goggles are a little more wide stream than these even so that they can see better when they're in the water and they're a little tighter to the head. Regular goggles, the goggles that you're going to mostly use in the pool, they need to fit snugly over the eye sockets. If they don't fit over the child's eye socket when they go in the water, it lets the water come in, whether it's underneath or in the side or over however. Even when they jump in, they'll flip up on their face. Another thing is most of the time, kids are not used to wearing the goggles in the pool. And that becomes a distraction for them as well. They take them off. They put them over to the side. They don't want to wear them. They're too tight. They're too loose. They don't tight on the back. They want to play with them on the back. Start practicing with them at home with the goggles and have them wear them for half an hour. Have them put them on while you're driving to the pool to practice. Give them the half an hour in the bathtub where they can play with the goggles, but they have to keep the goggles on their face or in the shower because this teaches them that the goggles are okay. Now, some of you don't want to have your kids wear goggles, and that's perfectly fine, too. A lot of us, and I am one, are very affected by the chlorine in the pool, and it really burns my eyes horribly. And we're trying to teach them to look down in the water and blow bubbles. And if their eyes are burning and they can't see, it's a very difficult concept. Another thing we recommend is this type of goggle, not a mask that goes over their nose. The mask does not allow us to teach them to hum. Remember humming? It does not allow us to teach them to breathe out through their nose when they're swimming as they become more advanced in their lessons. So today's lessons are swim caps and goggles. 